Hey guys, how are you today? We are here for Art Joy of Sharing and for February and this month um, we're talking about water-based mediums and I love my watercolor paints. If you've been watching my channel for any length of time, you know that this is my favorite palette, which is my Daniel Smith palette. Um, I love my watercolors. They're my favorite water-based medium along with a few markers and crayons of which I have way too many. I'm gonna just put that out there. I have some acrylic paint pens that are drying up, but that's a different subject. Um, I have this whole tray of sprays that I didn't even know I had, some of which probably don't even work anymore. Sprays are nice and all, and I do keep some around, but they frequently like get clogged up. They're like the bane of my existence, and most artists feel the same way. You know, they're nice to have around, but I find myself more often than not shaking the pigment up when it's settled and then just taking the top off and just dripping it on things and using it that way. And at some point, I think this year, I'm doing something called Project Pan Art Supply Style, which is a different video we're not gonna really talk about here, but at some point this year, I think I'm gonna have to use these up. Um, one of the things I wanted to take a look at is this box, which is crazy, this box. Um, these are water-soluble crayons, mostly neo colors, but you can see I have some Dino uh, Weekly scribble sticks. I've got some actually watercolor crayons. These are actual watercolors in a solid stick pigment. Um, these are probably my favorite because again, I love my watercolors. Um, I'm actually not a huge fan of the neo color twos. So I think we're gonna play with these and we are going to see if I'm right in my assumption that the only ones I really wanna keep are these and that the rest of them can go. Maybe the Dina Wakeley's, but I think the rest have to go. I think they have to go. So we'll see. So I'm gonna do some playing. I've got some scrap paper here. I always am needing to make backgrounds and things. What I wanna see is how easy they're, they are to move around because when I want to do that, there's really only a couple colors of the Neo colors that I ever use. And if I keep any, I may just keep those colors, um, like this dark purple, which I absolutely love this color. But I like have every single color of Neo Color 2 crayon, which is stupid. Don't do, don't be me. All right. So we are going to just take and the, and so if you're going to invest in some watercolor or water-based mediums for your art. Don't buy a whole set of something. Back when I first started, I thought if you need a Neo Color 2s, you had to buy the whole like line. You don't need to do that. Find your local mom and pop art supply store. Um, they're the ones that are gonna have the Neo Color 2s, for instance, so you can just go buy one crayon or three crayons, whatever your budget will allow. You don't have to buy the whole entire set. Um, do that. The same thing with like watercolor paints. You don't have to buy a whole giant box of watercolor paints for God knows how much money. You can just go buy one tube or two tubes, your favorite colors, the colors you think you're gonna use. Don't buy the whole set, again, don't be me. Okay, so this is, um, these are all the Neo colors and I don't know what color that is because it's way too small and I don't have my reading glasses on. That is a tealy green color. And this is uh, dark purple, so aubergine, I think. And this is a black gray, dark brown, something like that. My problem with the Neo Color 2s is always that um, they don't completely dissolve, which drives me crazy. Okay, here's the Dina Wakely Media Crayons. This is a their dark purple. And let's see, here's a similar, whoops. Oh, that can't be good when the paper's coming off. It's probably because it's old. Similar tealy green. And then we have maybe this one, like a dark grayish brown. Okay, and then over here, these are Windsor Newton and Daniel Smith um, actual watercolor, they're watercolors. They're, it's a watercolor stick. So this is a dark purple. And then here's a teal. Uh, 
this cobalt teal. And then let's get a dark, I have burnt umber, but which one is this? You know, it would be so much easier with my glasses on. This is, I don't know what this is. Oh, Prussian blue, ivory black. Uh, Windsor Newton, a oh, Windsor Green Blue shade. Um, French Ultramarine, uh, Lamp Black, Moon Glow. Let's do Burnt Umber. So this one's Windsor Newton. These other ones are Daniel Smith. And I have Burnt Umber and Daniel Smith too, and it looks like this. So look how different the pigments are between the two. I may even decide just to keep the Daniel Smith ones and like the Dina Wakely and a few Neo colors. So we'll see what happens. Let's get them wet now, shall we? So this is your Neo color. Dina Wakely. Daniel Smith. So with the Daniel Smith, if I keep at it, it's going to completely dissolve. With the Neo Color 2, you can see that you always see the scratch marks. And with the Dina Wakely, it, it works okay, but it's just not as pigmented. But look at this. So if I keep at this, that's nearly completely dissolved. Okay, so here's this purple color. And if I just, like I said earlier, if I decide to keep any Neo colors, this doesn't mean I need to keep the whole entire line of Neo colors. Forget what color that is. Um, Quadacronome Violet. Okay, and this is the dark one. We'll bring this one this way. This is the Windsor Newton one, which you can see is more like the um, others where it doesn't completely dissolve, which might be okay in certain applications. See, I really, I really like the Daniel Smith ones. So I definitely want to keep those. I think the Windsor Newton maybe has to go. I think the Dina Wakely has to go, and I think I'm just going to keep a few of the um, Neo colors in certain colors. So going forward for me in my art and my art, su art supplies, I'm going to be doing more of this where I'm really looking at what I have, whether I bought it or was sent it in PR. Do I really need to keep it? Do I really like it? If I don't like it, why am I hanging on to it? Um, I have just a lot of categories of this kind of product. This month it's going to be the water um, soluble media. And I want you to do the same thing. I want you to take a second look at what you have. I mean, I could show you a art tutorial and how to, you know, make a pretty watercolor painting. I have some of those already on my channel. Um, but I want you to find which water soluble media you already have or is out there that you really love and use that one. I don't want you to collect every, don't be me, don't collect every single one on the planet and then, because you think you have to have them all. You don't have to have them all. All right. Okay, I'm gonna edit this into the prior video clips somehow, some way, don't know exactly how yet. Let me turn off the overhead light. There we go. So I sat and went through more than just a few Neo colors when we were on camera. I went through a bunch of water soluble media crayon type things that I have in my stash. I pick I didn't get rid of all of everything. So for instance, the I'm getting rid of all of these neo colors. I kept about a dozen crayons that are my favorite colors that I do use. I most of these I've never used. They've got to go. I don't need them clogging up my space, clogging up my stash. There's no way on the planet I need this many colors. 
I have a bunch of these other water soluble crayons. These are also water soluble and they're different ones. Some are recollections, some are um, sparkle gel crayons, some are color peeps, some are rose art. Um, they work great too, but I have, I, again, I kept about a dozen. I don't need that many and I certainly don't need like five yellows. The Dina Wakely Media Crayons, we decided, we talked about them. They're not my favorite. The Daniel Smith watercolor sticks are totally my favorite. I love them. Um, there's nothing wrong with these. They're just not my favorite. They're not for me. Um, so they've got to go. And the Winsor Newton watercolor sticks, again, not my favorite. So they've got to go too. I am going to be selling these. I'll let you know in the description below whether they've sold or not. If they haven't, um, make me an offer. My email address is in the description below. I can't afford to just like these to so just give them away. Um, anybody, it, Google uh, in Am or go into Amazon and search Neocolor 2 water soluble crayons. You'll see how much, how expensive they are. They're expensive, um, but I am willing to sell them. And um, you can uh, message me if you're interested and let me know, and we can bargain. We can discuss it, and um, you know. I don't expect full retail, but yeah. Anyway, um, don't be afraid to go through your supplies and get rid of things that just don't serve anymore. That includes something that may be your favorite, like for me, water soluble media. I love it. My favorite is my Daniel Smith watercolors and I've got a few others that I love and I'm keeping those and the rest of it, if I don't love it, it's not gonna stay. There's no point in it clogging up my space. All right, that's, that's it. it for today. Go out and do those swatches, do those experiments, try those materials and see what you like and you can use going forward in your art and what just has got to go because it's taking up too much room. I know you're like me. I know there's something and I want you to go forward and I want you to let it go. All right, that's it for today. I have a lot of swatching and playing to do. <laughs> All right, don't forget to check out the video description for any relevant links. Go out and um, try those materials. If you want to do samples, here's one thought. So if you don't have any watercolor paints and you're not sure if you're gonna like them, I know Quar, which is by Golden, and Daniel Smith both have dot sample cards. I know a lot of mom and pop art supply stores will have in the spring and summer, they'll have demonstrations from the different art supply manufacturers and in those demonstrations, a lot of times they'll give free samples. So see if you can get yourself some samples to try some things. Um, get together with some art friends. Maybe they have watercolors and they hate them, but they love the Dina Wigley crayons and you can't stand them. Maybe you can do a trade, um, something like that. Also keep your eyes out, of course, at your uh, thrift stores and your art salvage stores, which seem to be popping up all over the country. All right, I am going to go through these and see which ones I'm keeping and which ones are going away. And I will catch you all in the next video. Go out and have a great day, everybody. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you later. Bye guys.